Hey, what's going on, Facebook Friday? My name is Eric Hammond, I'm with the Orange Stack. Today we're live in Beaver. This is a super small town in the middle of Utah. Uh, we're just heading back from our Christmas vacation and it's 10 o'clock Pacific time and we go live every 10 a.m. Pacific time on Fridays to bring you guys business strategies and tips and helping you grow your business. So, like I said, we're out here in Beaver. There's a lot going on. Um, this is like a gas station that's in the middle of nowhere that we stop at typically and uh, kind of a good middle away point for us to get gas before we get to Vegas. So anyway, we're heading back to San Diego today and today's topic is kind of starting new, right? So 2018 is right around the corner in a couple days. By the time most of you who watch this, it'll be 2018. So hopefully you enjoy the show. But I wanna to talk to you about starting new. So a lot of businesses are coming about, right? It's a big growth right now. The recession's definitely over. There's a lot of new growth going on in businesses and real estate and just things going on. I mean, right here across the street, if you can see it, they're adding on to this gas station that we've been coming to for years. And it looks like they're adding like 15 new pumps. So they've got new plans. Uh, there's a new Denny's right across the street. I mean, this is like a booming thing for this little town. But I wanna to talk to you about starting new businesses. A lot of you guys are saying, hey, I've been doing what I've been doing for a while. I don't love it anymore. I wanna start over and maybe make 2018 my year, right? So if that's your plan for this year and you've got plans to do something big, maybe you're starting a new business, maybe you're doubling your goal this year, whatever it is, let's talk about growth and starting something. Let's start about either starting new or going a little bit bigger. Sorry for the background noise, there's a bunch of trucks driving by, but one of the things that we did in 2017 was we started this business, The Orange Stack. We're basically a digital marketing agency here to help real estate agents and chiropractors and small businesses throughout the US get more traction through social media. So again, we were new. We kind of had the idea back in February, March that this is something that we wanted to do and it took a couple months to get it off the road and we did and we're getting more successful. So. This is probably the fifth business now that I've started. I've been in real estate a lot, had a couple construction companies that I work for, um, just different things in my life, you know? And I know that a lot of people go to school for something specific, but they don't doesn't always go the route that they plan. And sometimes you just need to do something that you're passionate about and excited about. And that's why thinking about starting a new business for you might be something that's on your radar. So what are some of the things to consider when you're starting a new business? I think timing is a big one. You know, right now we're getting to a kind of another peak in the recession. My wife and I were just talking about that in the car. You know, if you're in real estate, you got another couple of years before the market either plateaus or kind of slows down. So what are you doing in real estate to kind of hold through the next couple of years as we go through another recession? Usually the real estate recessions will affect a lot of other businesses. You know, if you're in lending or if you're in construction, uh, or even if you're using a big truck like this to ship something, maybe something's slowing down because of a recession. So how are you gonna plan for that? So your timing matters. You know, if you're at the end of a peak of a recession and you're wanting to start a new business, it might not be time. You might want to hold out until you get to the low of the recession and start over again. You know, if you're starting a new business back in 2006 and seven, you had a couple months of great time and then 2008 hit and you might have been out of business. So that's a big one, timing. Timing's a big one. Uh, another one is budgeting. You know, what are your expenses? What are your costs gonna be over the next year? If you're quitting uh, you know, an income job that you have to do this to start a new business, are you gonna be able to kind of self-rely on yourself for the next 12 months if you don't make any money? So planning ahead for that and knowing that your costs, what they're gonna be. You know, if you have, someone once told me, if you basically have the next six months of your life set away for personal savings and then six months of business savings, you can get through the next six months and see how it goes and what happens and get back on your feet pretty quick if you have to. Um, but if you've got you know, maybe a month or two of reserves and you don't make anything, you might be out of business before you even start. So think about your costs. I would go through your living expenses and office expenses and other hard costs that you're gonna have with your business, you know, depending on what you do. Uh, there's, I was up in Logan, which is North Utah County, um, North, North Utah State, and I bought a backpack. Uh, from this little company that is small. There's like 10 guys that work there. They've been in business for eight years and they sell about 14,000 backpacks out of this place. 
you know, it took them a few years to even become profitable, and now they're growing at a substantial rate. They're actually taking over the neighbor's house be, or the neighbor's area because they're running out of real estate space. So they're growing, but they had a plan and they set out financially to know kind of what those costs were going to be. You know, how much material do I need to have in an inventory? How much of a retail space do I need? How am I going to pay my employees? Things like that. If it's just you and you don't have any overhead, you're gonna have to have overhead like employees and warehouse space and utilities and things like that. So you need to definitely plan for these things and budget for them. So that's another big one that's you know, just on the radar is your money and what you're gonna do with that. I would say the next one is just kind of understanding the goals that you have. You know, What are your goals for the year? Are you gonna be hiring people? Is it just gonna be you, maybe a spouse, things like that for the next 12 months? You know, What are your hiring goals and your growth goals? For me, it was basically my wife and I for the first couple months until we kind of got into it and then we started hiring uh, like an assistant, number one, and then we started going from there and getting more and more people as we went. So kind of plan on you know, what, your, what your growth goals are. You know, how many people do you plan on having over the next 12 months? You know, what's your, like, what does January of 2019 look for you? What would you like to be at? And then another thing that I did for us, which was super helpful, was just plan out the next year of goals. And I would say even go past the year. We just talked about, you know, what's January of 2018, or I'm sorry, 2019 look for you. I forget that the year's changed in here. Uh, but what does a year from now look like? What does two years, three years, and maybe even five years down the road look for you? It may not be that clear. You may not have a, a clear image of what five years from now is going to look like, but what would you want it to look like? I love this question. If I could wave a magic wand and in five years, what would your business look like? Tell me what that is, you know? Do you plan on being national? Do you plan on, you know, a million dollars of income? Like, what's your goal for five years from now? Maybe it's 10 times that. Maybe you want a $10 million goal. But what's your number? You know, what does it make sense? And, and map that out. So I would definitely map out the first three months clearly. You know, what am I gonna do? What are the steps that are gonna take? What are my lead gen ideas? What are the products that I'm gonna sell? How am I gonna do this? So, a lot of trucks going by here now. So you gotta clearly map out the first three months of your business so you completely understand what you have to do every day when you wake up and go to work. And then maybe plan six months and say, okay, this is what I'd like to be doing in six months, but maybe after three months I might have to adjust for this. What do I wanna do in a year? What do I wanna do in 24 months? Things like that. So plan out the next five years of your life and, and see what it looks like. See the efforts that you have to put into it. And then go read this book called The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. A lot of you have heard of it, but basically what it's saying is that whatever you've planned, 10X that amount. If you thought you had to call 100 people a day, call 1,000, right? Like 10X everything that you plan because you're gonna underestimate what it's gonna take to get to where you wanna be. You're gonna be in a new business probably, you're gonna be in a new industry, something that you haven't done before, and you're gonna underestimate the efforts that are gonna be involved. So that should be on your reading list this year, The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. I've read it probably a dozen times, I love it. I even have a personalized license plate that talks about the 10X Rule in my life. So that's a big one. You know, really it's just about planning, it's about budgeting, it's about knowing where you wanna be and what you wanna do. No matter the business that you're in, you have to plan ahead. I think a lot of people think somebody else has done this, they've been successful, I can do it too, and they don't put a lot more effort into planning than that. So whether you're becoming a new real estate agent this year or you're saying, I've been a solo agent for the last five years, I wanna start a team. Maybe you're moving to a new area and you wanna start a new chiropractic business. I'm just throwing out scenarios based on people that I've talked to. Maybe you wanna start your own dealership. Maybe you wanna produce a skateboard company. Whatever it is in your life, you have to plan for it. You have to set out a goal. You have to decide, how am I gonna know that I'm being successful? How am I gonna know that I'm under where I wanna be? Maybe your six month projection isn't being hit and because you set your numbers, you can see that and so you can make changes along the way, course correct and get to the point that you wanna be so that by the end of the year, you'll hit your goal. But if you never set a number, you're never gonna know where you need to be. So plan ahead, plan your goals, make it happen. If you need any help with marketing, that's where we can come in and help you. We do social media strategies. We help people with their online business and helping you get more business from your social media accounts. So my name is Eric Hammond, trying to wrap this up here. Again, we're live in Beaver, super small town. Do a quick pan of the desert, the awesomeness of what Beaver is. There's a small hotel here, gas station over that way. Small place. But anyway, hope you guys had an incredible winter break. Probably took a couple weeks off to spend some time with your family. I hope your 2018 is unbelievable. 
please join us every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific as we go live and helping you guys grow your business, giving you strategies to help you get to the next level and do what you want to do. I appreciate you following along. Until next time, I'm Eric. I'll talk to you then.